You're listening to Potty Mouth Radio, the home of movies, music, television, and comedy. And now, the hunt for the perfect album. Hello, dear listeners, and welcome back to the hunt for the perfect album with Beat Is and Bang. <laughs> Last week was a lot of fun. Last week we had some uh, kind of grungy bubblegum pop. This week you've given me an album. Do you want to tell the listeners what you gave me again? I did. I was very generous because I know how busy you are and how little time you have, and I gave you a four-track EP. Not yes. going to happen again, so I hope you made the most of it. Um by an Australian duo, Melanie Oxley and Chris Abrams, yep. uh, called Resisting Calm. Yes. Which I now, came across back in the 90s. Yeah, I was just going to say that. So last week you gave us a little bit of a rundown on how you discovered this. It was through the Triple J um, Live at the Wireless. Yeah, the Live at the Wireless. Yeah, volume yep. two, I think. It was one of the very, very early ones back in, back in the 90s when I was at uni. And... Uh, fantastic compilation that's almost impossible to find now but um, yep. in amongst the Henry Rollins and Mud Honey and all of the other <laughs> wonderful 90s stuff there was this one track called Benchtop Bench, um, that, okay I was going to ask because last week you didn't say which track it was yeah and uh, so it was, it was this almost dreamy uh, you know yes. female vocalist guy on uh, uh, doing the, the in, uh, instruments and, and and really I mean obviously it was a unplugged version on Live on the Wireless anyway but I mean, it yeah. was fairly similar to the one on the EP and I just fell in love with it and went out searching for where it came from and it came off this EP that these um, Melanie Oxley and Chris Abrams had come together and put out which I went searching for and I got on a CD and yeah just fell in love with it and played the shit out of it um, CD ended up getting damaged, uh, moving houses some, you know, decades ago, yeah. and took me years. But I eventually found another disc uh, from someone over in Canada, I think, and uh, on Discogs, and paid more in postage than I paid for the actual disc just to be able to have it again. <laughs> and and have now found it's on fucking Spotify, so I didn't need to do that at all. But there you go. Um, they've subsequent they, they did subsequently do albums which are all great um, but I don't think they ever <clears throat> matched the, the the height of this EP for me anyway I'm yeah. excited and nervous to know what you thought of it. <laughs> well let's get straight into it then so as are the rules I listened to it all the way through start to finish no skips oh four tracks good on you <laughs> what, a, what a journey that was I think it's I think it's 14 <laughs> minutes <laughs> um Yep, 14 minutes, 32 seconds. <laughs> so I listened to the whole thing start to finish twice, which is a sign that I enjoyed it. And oh, then good. very similar to you last week, one track in particular, fucking, I don't know, seven, eight times. There's one track in particular that I really, really, really love, which is why I was curious to see which track it was okay. that kind of you fell in love with first. So that track is the first track, Siren. I ah. think that that track is... <clears throat> for me the best on the album and i like all the other songs i don't love them benchtop is my second favorite i think mm-hmm. the weakest for me is the second track he's so tired he's so tired yeah I'd probably but agree. that first track geez it's so good like you brought up the kind of dreamlike it's so you know, that that one is probably the most dreamy of all of them I it is which i think is why i like it the most uh, i th- for me i feel like some of the others particularly he's so tired are a little bit kind of in between where it's it's wanting to be almost dreamlike but kind of upbeat at the same time and i think they kind of yep. work against each other there but that first track as soon as that piano starts with that that very repetitive riff and then mm. the vocals come in Like 
and similar to you i had a thing where i was like this is so familiar unlike yeah. you i never managed to figure out which track it was i believe that it's a luxmith song it's reminding me of but i can't think of which one i, I get a little bit of, I, it, I mean it's, it's it's not quite as dreamy but i get a little bit of a uh, is it this mortal coil or um yeah yep that that sort of thing um but it's yep. not quite that dreamy but no but it's beautiful that first track <clears throat> i loved it so much <laughs> she's got a wonderful voice melanie oxley really really lovely voice yeah she does i don't really <clears throat> recall hearing <clears throat> a male voice at all throughout any of the songs is he no. singing or is he is no. he the no. musician side he's yeah um p- purely on on um the instrumentalist yeah. yeah okay yeah and i believe um is probably the main architect in terms of songwriting yeah okay yeah um so he, he's a kind of a jazz guy i guess yeah okay. um, all That's the way back um, interesting because a, i wouldn't describe this album jazz as jazzy group. at all no no he's, he's um from memory his jazz group is called the next yeah right um n-e-c-k-s not n-e-x um but um i think most successful stuff he's done has been in in collaboration with her yeah right yeah because this this album is it's very almost synth pop dream wave kind of almost shoegaze but more melodic and and dreamy but very atmospheric i think from start to finish Mm -hmm. um particularly that first track on to the second track he's so tired like i said i think it was my least favorite it actually was probably the most jazzy of of all four it's it's the yeah, most upbeat that. of them i think yeah his eyes bloodshot and weak trying so hard battling to live Please let him speak Something to say Don't swollen mate I'm feeling fine I'm feeling fine Do you have... So is... After you got the album, is Benchtop still your favourite? Yes, yeah, probably followed by Siren. Um, just one second. And, and then, yeah, then then uh, Happy Birthday. But yeah, okay. Benchtop, I just, I, I, lyrically, I just love it. Um, just, I mean, lines of, of, of the lyrics just jump out. I just, I just think they're so well written. Um, things like, you know, the... the, the um, what is it? The money jar is pressed against the last paperback to stop it falling from the floor. It's so evocative. Yeah. I can you can visualize immediately um, that sort of student accommodation where you're sitting on milk crates and yeah, you're yep, propping <laughs> propping your your secondhand books up with the with, with a jar full of old coins and yeah, that sort of st- it's so evocative. Um, you're right. Yeah. Music aside, I think that's probably what was reminding me of the Luxmiths. It's that very kind of Australiana laid back lyricism. Um, yep. Yeah, yeah. really like the the last track happy birthday as well which again it's very simple in its lyrics and melody much like the rest of the album really it's like it's very 
it's it's hard. It sounds bad to describe it as simple songwriting, but I do think that's what it is. It's simple songwriting yep. done very, very well. It's very effective. this is a giant band i think there it does sound like there's quite a few instruments going on but i suspect most of them are synth um yeah i I know knowledge on that i know abrams and oxley met um they they were in a band previously called the sparklers um back in the back in the 80s which was them and some guys from the sunny boys and lime spiders and some other aussie bands um and then they sort of decided to do their own thing with this EP. Um, yeah. I know they did have other instru- uh, other people playing on it. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. That I think Chris Abrams brought in. I don't know if it's people from the Sparklers or if it's just people he knew through his jazz connections or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I'm not sure. But th- yeah, th- there were other other people playing on it. So it's not just kind of him. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. he, he's key, he's keyboards, and then you've got others. Yeah, and the keyboards are definitely the driving instrument. Mm. Um, yeah, and for they sure. Are really, really lovely. Really, lo- but I I can't get it. That first track, Sirens. Like I said, I listened to it so many times. I think of all of them, that's the one that I would go back to the most. I I can't see myself re-listening to the entire EP what again. I, what I might do, I I, I will rip the live at the wireless version of benchtop because i think it's superior that'd be cool yeah and i'll I'll send you the mp3 because um something about the live it it, it's kind of it's just more (laughs) i don't know how to describe it but it 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 is superior and i i i do even remember when i first got the ep and put it on going oh (laughs) when it got to benchtop because i was like it, it, it it doesn't quite have that wow factor that that i'd been you know playing to death on on live at the what the yeah. live at the wireless album um yeah. so yeah i'd be interested to see if you you feel the same way when you hear that yeah, live nice, version yeah. i'll let it if you send it through i'll edit that live version in at the end as like the the play out track oh okay yeah i've, yeah. I've, I've yeah i'll i'll find it i'll see if i can f- i might be able to find it online or something i'll have a google Oh, so yeah, God, all in all, don't tell me that's on fucking Spotify as well. I spent a fucking, I spent about fifty bucks getting a CD of live at that live at the wireless. So yeah, all in all, I really, really enjoyed this EP. It was a very enjoyable listen. Like I said, I I don't know that I'd listen to the entire thing again, but I discovered at least one or two tracks that definitely will make it into one of my playlists. Fantastic. Excellent. We're two for two. We are. This is, this is a massive success so far, this <laughs> search for the greatest album. All right. Well, next week, I'm... You okay. know what we should do? What? <laughs> Each week that we do this, the person, uh, or, or we collaboratively, we pick one track and we'll yeah. make a compilation. Make a compilation. I like that. I like that. So the person who received the album i think that i track. think i think it should be yeah the person who received so so, so you i mean pick one yeah, for obviously you'll pick, pick, pick siren yeah, i'll, I'll yeah. pick something for guppy all right um, yeah i like it yeah Julia. we'll make I a little... to, and then yeah. we'll make a, a best of play compilation playlist yeah i like it awesome. next week i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a bit of a choice rather than just Ooh. designating an album because i have you know i've got the same as you i've got a list so i'm gonna say this to you you pick from the following genres okay 
Alternative Country, Power Pop, Twee, Indie Folk, Australiana, and Britpop. Oh, I'm tempted to say Britpop, but I have a, yeah, I'd be done. I'm if worried. It's something I'm worried I that don't Britpop, know. Well, I'm worried that Britpop will be cut. I'm worried that you'll know the artist in the album. And oh, well, let's rule it out. I'll anything. say Britpop. Tell me what it is, and if I know it, then I'll go. I'm old sure that you're familiar with Billy Bragg. Yeah, I've seen yeah. him live. Yes, well, there you go. Workers so Playtime. Like, workers Playtime. Yeah. <laughs> Can which, I do it anyway? <laughs> which is a perfect album, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, give me the alt country then. Alt country? All right. The album I'm going to task you with is Drag It Up by alt country band The Old 97s. Oh, I know you love them. I've I, never heard them, but I've heard you mention them before. I, I do love The Old 97s. This is one of my favorites of theirs, Drag It Up. So that's what we'll be chatting about next week. <laughs> Drag it up. Old nineties. And I'm I'm curious, I guess. Yeah, I'm curious to see. I, I, I do not dislike alt country, what little I'm familiar with. So Okay. There we go. Aha. That'll be fun. All right. Thank you, listeners, and, and we look forward to you joining us next week on the hunt for the perfect album. Yeah. And go listen to Drag It Up by the old ninety sevens. We'll put a link in the <laughs> This app show notes yeah. so you can have a listen along with me and be prepared for next week. <laughs> I know a house that leaves a string of born again that sit and drink. I want to drink a toast. To